One third of the way done with IPL 2024, the countdown ticking on India's T20 World Cup squad announcement. Who's going to make it? What roles will be filled? Lots of questions and that will be unpacked by our ESPN Trick and Four Run Order crew. Tom Moody, Ronak Kapoor, Deep Das Gupta, George Benoit, thank you for joining us. Uh, let's start with Wicket Keeper, shall we? Because oh, wow. we began <laughs> straight away. <laughs> wow. yeah, let's cut straight to the chase. I mean, okay. lots of options, no clear answer. What do we think? I'll give the Wicket Keeper the first try. Uh, for me, I, I think Rishabh Pant. I think he's seemed to be in good form. I think one of the biggest things that you want to see of Rishabh Pant this season was his fitness levels, which is superb, I believe, uh, back to where he was a couple of years ago. And then his form. I think uh, the way he's batted. Uh, yeah, I think uh, without a shadow of doubt, in my mind, number one choice, Rishabh Pant. Yeah, I'd agree with that. I think uh, he, he just had to tick off that, most importantly, that fitness box. I think form was always going to come, mm. given... Uh, some time out in the middle, it came a bit quicker than what we expected mm -hmm. to be fair, yeah. particularly behind the stumps, you know, how yeah. agile he's been and, and uh, you know, his movement there has been terrific to see. Um, so to me, he's an absolute no-brainer and you need that left-hander as well. Uh, I think that's really yeah. important in that middle order. So that's great news for Indian cricket. Uh, let's hope that, you know, the rest of the IPL, he's, he stays strong. What are the selectors thinking? <laughs> Why are you asking me? I don't know. Um, that's a question for everyone. Say a what do you of think? Things. The I'll just put out a couple of things before giving, without giving any verdict. Firstly, while India will pick a 15-man squad, they will send multiple reserves mm. given it's in the US and the Caribbean. But now that you try and make up what they need, the skill set in their true, 15. But, but they can't pick from those reserves. Unless, unless there's an unless injury. There's an injury. So there will yeah. be somebody going there. Yes. So let's, for yeah. all practical purposes, it's a 15-person squad. And in a 15-man squad, I think for this particular World Cup, you cannot take a backup keeper. So there will only be one keeper. I doubt it's No, but I, even they, doubt. Even you need a backup keeper. Mm -hmm. Because if there's a, a minor mm -hmm. injury to a wicket keeper, yeah. then what do you do? Especially uh, if that uh, if, he's, if he's not going to be ruled out for the entire tournament, yeah, so he's going to miss a game or two. You don't want to. Uh, who will? So then, Ronak, then Ronak, when you, you do you the rest, you haven't, of you haven't been on tour, obviously. <laughs> yeah, I have. Okay, so what happens if that week we keeper wakes up the morning of yeah. the semi-final and is violently sick overnight with yes. food poisoning, mm. and your reserve keeper is in waiting in New York, in and, New York. And, the, and the game is in Trinidad? No, no, they'll travel with the team, Tom. Don't worry. You <laughs> haven't travelled with the Indian team, have you? There's <laughs> lots of space yeah. on the aircraft in the hotel. <laughs> But I don't think it's as easy as what you yeah. think. So yeah. I know that this is a, a common school of thought that management likes to have a reserve keeper. But there are also enough instances of that just not being something that your squad can... What you, what what? you basically do is out of 15 then, you can only tactically use in a T20 World Cup three of your subs. So you're going to say what that K. Rahul will go no, as a backup I'm batter saying, or keeper? I'm saying this is going to come down to only one keeper batter. I'd be very surprised yeah. if India doesn't take it. But if it's two, then great. Then Pant and Samson. <laughs> oh, then we're all Samson. happy. Yeah. yeah, then I'm done because it's an easy one. Yeah. It's not a tough call. But if you actually build the rest of the team, somebody big will miss out then. Either the reserve yeah. opener or a top order batter. That could be Shukman Gill. The reserve wrist spinner, which you would want to take. That's a more important sort of skill set, or a reserve fast bowler, or the reserve for Hardik Pandya, which I think is Shivam Dubey who could make a case to play in the same team as well tactically. What? So I don't see that happening. But yeah, if you want to go for a keeper, it's Pant and Samson. Nobody else has enough. And what tends to happen if you look at India's last four or five white ball World Cup squads, that second keeper is often a multi backup, yeah. either a backup opener and plus keeper in Kishan or a KL Rahul. That's a box that Sanju Samson ticks because he mm. can occupy multiple roles. Yeah. But India had in, at least seemed to invest in Jitesh Sharma. Also, the likely makeup of India's top four suggests you need a keeper who bats at five or six. Yeah. Yeah. Does that bring Jitesh back into the conversation? Well, it does, in my, it does yeah. in my view, um, because I, I know how this uh, will play out, potentially, because uh, it's played out with other teams historically, in that once the World Cup is is uh, completed and it doesn't go to plan and I'm not saying it's, that's going to be the case for India because they've got a very strong case to be having a very successful World Cup but if it doesn't people will be pointing at the first thing why are we picking players that never play in that role and asking them in a World Cup to mm. play in that role so from a coaching perspective I look at players that are specific have specific skills to execute yeah. under pressure in certain roles Jitesh was definitely part of the planning prior to the IPL. Yep. Just because he's gone cold for a couple of games, yep. 
here in the mm. IPL, suddenly, oh, no, we're going to throw the baby out with the bathwater. Mm. You know, it, to, to me, you've got to keep it as specific as possible because particularly in T20 cricket, batting in that position at six, around that six, five, six, seven, is a very difficult role. Mm. You can't yeah. just yeah. because you're you know, braining it at the top of the order, suddenly say, oh, well, you'll, you'll be fine. So Pant, you play so Pant well. is your number one, but Jitesh over Samson because of that argument. Where India will that's, take that's, it? I have both of them on the table with mm -hmm. Kale Rahul, because to me, Kale Rahul's in the same conversation as Stanju Samson. Mm -hmm. I'd have those three sitting on the table and I'd be closely monitoring the next period of time. But my main case for Jitesh Jitesh is because of the role specific. And for what it's worth mm. with Jitesh, while those runs might not be high, mm. the kind of score, 16 of 8, 19 of That's 10, exactly is what, what India tend want. to be crying out for from their number 6. Yeah, and if you look at the strike rate of all the keepers, right, in contention, first 10 ball strike rate, that's what you want from your number 5, number 6 batter, right? His is the highest against pace, against spin, yep. across all keepers. So that, again, going to what uh, Moods was talking about, I mean, that's exactly what you want from your number five, number six batter. And Jitesh has done that over the last couple of years. Mm -hmm. Yes, he hasn't had a good IPL so far, but that shouldn't stop you or you shouldn't forget what he's done in the last yeah. 12 odd months. So this is a really tough place for, for the selectors because you've not had a lot of T20I cricket in the last few mm -hmm. months because of the ODI World Cup in the last 12 to 18 months. And you now have the IPL, and straight after that you have the T20 and World you don't Cup. Really know the conditions. Correct. There is the added element, but to yeah. be fair, the US leg of it is not something that's yeah, going to bother India as yeah. much. There's a Pakistan game, and the other games they're expected to win. I'm not taking any opportunity. But even with the West Indian venues, there, you know, like yes, but yeah. but there is the uh, the team has been to the West Indies enough mm. in the last few yeah. years. Uh, it's an excellent place to go, by the way. Uh, but more importantly, back to the point: Do you, as a selector, try and almost block out the noise from the IPL because sometimes you could also be playing for the wrong franchise. In yeah. Pant and Jitesh Sharma's case, they may very well be playing for a franchise that will run out of steam halfway through the tournament, not make the top four. The mood won't be the, quite the same. It will affect mm -hmm. performance. Can you really put that out and say, no, we know what Pant yeah. is capable of, what Jitesh has done, we invested in Jitesh. It doesn't matter if he doesn't have three or four 50 plus scores, mm -hmm. but Sanju Samson does. Then the other argument is runs. Add yeah. to a player's confidence, he feels better about it. So it's a really tough one for a selector, and I, I, I don't see what will split the difference here. So, so your your point about mm. Samson, yes, you know, and your point around India will be taking a broader squad. You know, that's where that player fits mm. because he covers your top order mm. and he covers your wicket keeping if you have an issue. But within the squad, I think you've got to be more specific to sure. winning the tournament and being role specific. So he becomes okay. a reserve, you think? Only in the. In the in and only and a very fine one at that. Yeah, but only, he, he yeah. can come in as a specialist batter at the top of the order, or he can come in if you do need another keeping mm. option for that. Yeah. Quickly around mm. the room. See, the keeping call has only taken so long. Yeah, yeah. I, this is quite the sample of um, what I'd imagine the selectors' meeting will be with Ajita Agarkar and Co. They'll spend the majority of the time on the wicket keeper, at least from the outside. That's what it seems like. I don't have any other intel. If you had to pick two for the squad today, who would it be? Two. Pant and Samson. Speak. I'm going to go with Pant and Samson, actually. I'm not picking two. I'm only picking Pant. Okay. But if I am picking two, it would be Samson. I'm going to go with uh, Pant and uh, Jitesh. All right. Yeah. That's one done. Now let's look at the other areas of interest, starting mm. with who could be Rohit Sharma's opening partner? Yashasvi Jaspal has been the incumbent. Is that a slow start to the IPL? Should that be worrying or will that be worrying the selectors in any way? Um, my take um, is definitely it shouldn't be because he's shown uh, over the past 18 months that he's more than capable of, of uh, dominating in all formats of the game and he's taken to every new challenge uh, you know, very, very easily, uh, seamlessly. Um, yes, he's had a couple of lean patches, but every player does. You know, even the greatest players have done that. Uh, but most importantly, India need a left-hander at the top of the order. You know, that's to me the standout uh, issue here. If they don't have a left-hander at, at the top of the order, you end up being a sitting duck in the IPL. Uh, sorry, in the World Cup. Um, because other teams will you know, definitely go in with left arm spin early and tie up. Uh, India's top order. Mm. Uh, yeah, absolutely. I mean, I, he, he checks quite a few boxes. Left-hander, 
uh, obviously his, his performance the last 12 odd months, yeah. plus that mindset, the, you know, that fearlessness that you need, the exuberance of youth and everything else and the new mindset that Rohit keeps talking about. He's been talking about this for the last 12 odd months. I think he brings that to the table as well, which is very, very refreshing. So, yeah, I mean, I think definitely him. No I brainer. Even if he doesn't get another oh score, yeah. Jaiswal is one of those that you don't worry about yeah, yeah. how his IPL yeah. goes. Yeah. And that's the issue with at times with IPL. I mean, suddenly four or five games, somebody doesn't get yeah. a run or get a get a score or performance that way, and you start talking about even though before IPL you're like, oh, that he's a certainty. I mean, you can't be that fickle about a few people. Yes, there are certain positions which you would want to have a discussion about. I think at certain positions and you a, a high risk player, which Jaiswal is, yeah. has <coughs> to be given security. Oh yeah. Otherwise, yeah. if you tell him that it'll be based on your runs then he'll start batting oh. in a different way to try and get a score and you lose the player that you actually wanted in the first place. So, you j I, I hope the communication to Jaiswal, which I'd be surprised if it isn't already is, mm. just don't worry, you know, you're in, you're on that team sheet already. Just so hypothetically. I, I think, I think J sorry. Go on. Yeah, no, I think Jaiswal being left-handed, um, you know, really gives him uh, the advantage here because uh, uh, otherwise you are going to have a top four potentially which are all right-handed. Yes, true. But the staggering thing is that there's probably going to be no space for Gil in the squad then. Uh, mm. like in my squad there is because I've only picked one keeper. <laughs> so yeah. yeah, but Gil, Gil might keep it. So somebody has to learn now. It's not that hard, <laughs> yeah. is it? Yeah. No, and it's not that hard. <laughs> and well, Gil it's a cop-out though. <laughs> Why is that a cop-out? It's an absolute cop-out <laughs> picking one keeper. <laughs> Why is it a cop-out? It is because you're avoiding some difficult decisions that have to be made. It's six games, Tom. They have to be fit for six games. Okay. Yeah. No, uh, and to think like, you know, after the IPL he had last year and he's begun uh, scoring this season as well, to leave someone like Gil out is a fairly big call yeah. because we haven't discussed some of the other players in India's top order yet. Mm. Yeah. yeah. Which we'll save for a later run order because yeah. more pressing concerns are the combination, the bowling combination that India are likely to go with. Obviously, Bumrah mm. is done. Siraj has had a tough start to this IPL. Uh, how do we see? First question is, what is the kind of pace spin balance you look at in a squad of 15 given the conditions? Are you going four pacers in your squad or are you okay with three plus Hardik Pandya assuming he's fit? Uh, well, let me condense that down even further to we are playing 11. Okay. What mm. you do need is two specialist spinners in the Caribbean. So you need three pace, whether that is two specialist pace and Hardik and two specialist spinners or you go you go hard with three specialist pace bowlers and and um, the two spinners. Uh, so, you know, to me in the Caribbean, you need definitely need wrist spin. Uh, without a question, you need wrist spin, and ideally, you want bo uh, bowlers that have high release. They're the ones that tend to be most successful in those conditions against sort of your skiddy bowlers. So, you know, Siraj tick the box. Boomer tick the box, higher release, right over the top, getting that bounce and uneven bounce on some of the surfaces. Okay, so then that's two. If you're looking from a squad perspective, you look at the rest of the pool. Arshdeep, mm. Mukesh, who got a lot of T20Is for India off late, mm. and Avesh Khan played some games. Prasid mm. played a couple of the T20Is, but he's out of the mix. So which direction are you looking at? Uh, definitely looking at Arshdeep for sure. Left arm seeming option. I mean, you've got to have one of them as a left armor and I think if you look at numbers, leave Bumrah aside, uh, he's got the best numbers so far as far as seam bowling is concerned, uh, whether you bowl him in the dead with the new ball and also he gives you that kind of uh, elbow room in terms of usage of him. You can use him in with the new ball, dead, stuff like that because again the, the point that Moose made was very, very important. What's the combination, ideal combination uh, you're looking at? Are you going to go with two seamers plus Hardik or three seamer plus Hardik? So if you're going two seamer plus Hardik, you need you know that second seam apart from Bumrah to be a little more flexible that way. Uh, so I yeah I think Arshdeep would be as of now the second name. Obviously Siraj, you want him back in form. So yeah. ideally speaking, I'm looking at those two seamers plus Hardik in the squad. I go all the way back to my lack of keeper alternative, which was quite uh, quite patronizingly criticised on the show by Tom. And Moody. rightly so. And rightly so <laughs> in the eyes of another patronising former cricketer. But uh, the reason I said that is because India much rather take a backup to their seam bowling, uh, <coughs> which is the more vulnerable skill set in the World Cup. There are all, these are also games in the day. It will be hot. 
uh, and the call they'll have to make is whether there is the whether they can take an extra keeper, an extra mm. seamer, or an extra or a backup to Hardik Pandya's skill set. They can only pick tick two of those boxes. Mm. So I'm going for the backup to Hardik Pandya and the backup to a specialist seamer, and therefore sacrificing the backup keeper. So I've got Bumra obviously. Arshdeep as the left-hander, you think is right and right ahead in the queue. Siraj, even though he may have a hot and cold season, but mm. Siraj will certainly be a third seamer. And I think the backup to the specialist seamers right now, Avesh Khan is in front of everybody else. I was really hoping that there is room for an X factor there. Just mm. on that, what, what skill set you're looking for? Mm. So again, it goes back to the keeping situation. Is that mm. there's no point putting a you know, someone that specialises more in the depth when you mm. don't need that as backup or someone that's more specialises yeah. power play bowling, you know, as yeah. backup. So what skill set do you need that backup pace bowler to be? Yeah, I think it'll have to be a depth bowler. Mm. Uh, oh, you sure? Yeah, yeah, I think it'll have to be a depth bowler by and large because India have the option of Hardik Pandya with the new ball if and he is fit, of course. And? And? And who else? who else? You want Bumra to bowl two overs in the first six? Siraj. Yeah. So, Siraj yeah. is your new ball option. Bumra, ideally, Bumra can't be held for just overs 10 and 20. <coughs> I'm sure Bumra, Rohit Sharma yeah. likes to give Bumra the new ball. Mm. At times, even for two overs, it'll, it'll also come down to... Yeah. So, I think what happens with a 15-member squad is the extra bowler that you, that you have, you've got to have a kind of an all-rounder. Mm. It can't be very specific, only dead bowler, only new ball bowler. You'd rather have somebody who can kind of fit into different positions. Same with the extra batter that you would carry. Yeah. You would want somebody who can fit into the top three or the middle order. I mean, because like you said, there's only four more. I mean, so we haven't so uh, talked about, uh, you know, when he played his first two games, Mayank Yadav, uh, everyone started talking about yeah. him. Uh, picked up a side strain, uh, you know, in his third game and then uh, went off the field. So, you know, there's concern about his fitness and all of that. but. If he continues to have a good season, but have we seen enough of him? I don't know. Twenty twenty six. Yeah, we, we haven't seen him bowl in yeah. the depth. We haven't seen him bowl with yeah. the new. No, no, ball. he did bowl in the depth. Uh, yeah, but it's so, yeah, one game. so to be fair, yeah. because of mm -hmm. the exceptional skill set, mm -hmm. if he lasts yeah. the whole season, first if he does, and mm -hmm. if he sort of then he's a wild card possibility because that extra seamer, like Tom says, there. They'll take him as insurance. Yeah, because what one bowler we still haven't seen so far is Mukesh, who can do both that job. Yep, sure. Death and the new Serviceable. Bowler. Mukesh is a very serviceable option. Yeah. So yeah. Just yeah. going back to Mayank, can India consider someone who has no experience outside of this small sample? Oh, look, I, I love what I saw for the first couple of games. It was quite extraordinary. Um, to the point, you, you, you're wanting to see the replays of that game, but mm. you cannot suddenly have a knee-jerk reaction and pick him in a World Cup when he's only played two games, he's got injured, you don't really know what he's capable of doing over a longer period of time, um, you know, under pressure in different, in, in different roles within the team. Yes, he's an absolute lock for your future and you look after that asset and, and you know, to me it's 2026 mm -hmm. World Cup right. you're looking at. Very quickly, we will touch upon spinners where a few seem like placeholders. Jadeja, you'd expect, makes the squad, yeah. Kuldeep makes the squad. India have preferred Bishnoi, not given a central contract to use Vendra Chehel, but Chehel takes a lot of wickets in the IPL, mm -hmm. continuing to do so. Bishnoi has no wickets to India. Will India opt for the more attacking option, or are they likely to stay with Bishnoi? With, uh, I don't know, I think Kuldeep, if he, uh, like you said, he's... Uh, I'm saying those two are done. Yeah. If you have to pick one wrist spinner, which is likely, you will only have room for one, right? Now oh, again, you yeah, make the 15, I, you actually I, don't I don't know whether you'll have space. For you don't have room. Spinners, but uh, I wanted to ask Tom actually when he made this point, point about two spinners in the 11 uh, at the start. So are you thinking two specialist spinners or is it like a Kuldeep and an all-rounder like Jadeja? Well, I, I consider Jadeja as a special spinner. Mm. Okay. All he's right. a, he's ba the batting's a bonus. Just on that though, in the Caribbean, especially given all of India's games will be played during the day, is it wise to consider the option of three spinners in your 11 at any point in the Caribbean? Or is that an idea you can do away with? Because then you need a third in the squad. But is that spin heavy for that part of the world? I, I wouldn't say it's spin heavy, but I don't think India need to do that because okay, of their pace resources. Mm. Yeah, right. You know, it, it'd be different if they didn't have the strength in their pace, you know, armory. And you then go in with that balance, but they've got that strength. And then, I, then I, that also then decides whether you take a reserve spinner. Yeah, I mean, I guess the, the big challenge for the selectors would be the four 
spots that you want to fill in. Do you fill in an extra keeper, an extra middle order, an all-rounder? What exactly do you want to do with those four extra? I think, I, and I believe that spinner is an important role. I, there could be a possibility where three spinners play in my mind with Hardik and Bumrah being the two seamer. There could be. I, I'm, I'm not too sure. We don't know what we're going to get in terms of the pitches during the day. Uh, going by CPL and what I've seen mm -hmm. of those windy pitches during CPL, there, there can be those kind of surfaces as Definitely. well where you can play three spinners. So I think that extra spinner is a must. And, and the other thing, going back to the, the injury side of things, if, or illness, if Kuldeep suddenly mm -hmm. pulls up the next morning and he's mm -hmm. not well, yeah. you're going you're gonna to be regretting the fact you don't have yeah, a, quali a spin. specialist yep. wrist spinner in your 100%. squad. Mm. So quick call on that. As things stand, if you have, a room, if you have the room for the third spinner, Shehel or Bishnoi? Uh, Bishnoi for me only on account of as good as Chahal is in the IPL, somehow Chahal doesn't translate that level of performance when he plays for India and Bishnoi has proved himself to be a little more serviceable as a cricketer all round. Chahal is, I mean as much as I like him, he just is, you know, you have to hide him in the field, he adds nothing with the bat and it, there isn't as much of a difference. He had a poor series in the Caribbean by the way, mm. when in, he yeah. played in the T20Is, he did not bowl well and Puran and Hitmeyer and the likes just, it was not a matchup that you know favoured him at all. So Bushnoi actually is ahead of him in my view. Mm. Well that's a tricky one but I do, I do get what he's talking about him. I, I think so far he hasn't fielded for 20 overs and that is something that bothers me. Yeah. If you're aspiring to play for India and you, you, you're, you're substituted every game yeah. in franchise cricket, I mean, that doesn't say a lot, right? Mm. Um, and, and even during fielding, uh, yeah. he's been substituted. I mean, he finishes his four overs, 16th over, and he's substituted for four overs. I mean, that says a lot. And, and in this day and age, I mean, you can't hide fielders anymore, yeah. and especially this format. I mean, as a bowler, I would rate him above Bishnoi, but as a package, uh, that's, that's where I think the debate comes in. Uh, yeah, I'd go with Bishnoi as well. Um, I, I would go Chahal uh, purely because um, to me I see him as a replacement for Cool Deep and I need a wicket taker. And not that Jadeja is not a wicket taker, but I think if you look at Jadeja's numbers, he's mm. more of a pressure building, holding bowler mm. uh, that creates opportunities both at his end and the other end. I want someone that's going to be able to take wickets. And I mm. see Bishnoi as a similar package as, as uh, Jadeja as he's. He's uh, you know, more of a pressure building bowler than someone that's going to knock over and take four for 30. Right. Thank you, gentlemen, for your thoughts. At the end of this, all I can say is all the best to the selectors. <laughs>